Hey guys, this is Papi Orion. Guys, thank you for your support. I just posted a, a, a highlight video of my last visit to Congo. And I must say, the outcome, the reception was quite amazing. You guys, you know, commented on the Instagram. You guys watched the video. Some of you did share the video. What we're doing is changing the narrative of um, our people, you know. Congo, the story of Congo need to be told by the Congolese. You know, we need to show the world that Congo is the most beautiful country on earth. That Congo has got a lot of resources and these resources need to be in the hands of the Congolese. And the goal of this is this vlog is um, show you the behind the scene of the project Kichokoyo that we're working on. Congo is diverse, it's full of beauty in different places of Congo and we want to go to those places. So guys, I'm excited to introduce to you the first vlog of my highlight of Congo and I love you guys and let's go. so guys this is the first one um, of uh, our last visit and really what makes me happy about being here in congo is just um the reception the hospitality and just when i look at the people the faces of the people how they're embracing me you know and just being there knowing that i'm, I'm an uncle i'm a brother i'm a son i'm a you know i'm a friend to all these people it just gives me a lot of joy guys and i know for all of you who are in different countries you know you've heard all these stories about congo that you know it's dangerous you know this is going to happen to you and that is going to happen to you don't go there and that could be even people that are close to you that tell you this but man when you get there how when you get there you experience the love you talk to people and yet probably people might ask you for help for money but that's not the main reason the main reason for me is that the love that i receive which i don't get here in europe or elsewhere you know i'm appreciated there in, in, in my motherland and whenever i learn there i just really you can see the the sparkle in my face, uh, the smile, the joy that I have in my face, yeah, because I'm home, you know. Um, even our neighbor country, our neighbor country, in these countries you cannot just say anything. Once you land in this country, you should shut anything regarding to government or anything, you should not talk about it, you know. You should always be sensitive. But in Congo, I'll tell you I've, from my experience, is you can tell anything, you can say anything to anyone. You can talk to a police and uh, you can talk to government official and you won't fear of your life. For you who have a Congolese background, I can also encourage you. I know you are comfortable wherever, wherever country you live in. Uh, but when you get to Congo, man, you start realizing this is, this, uh, this is where my roots are. These are my people. They have dealt a bad hand, but look at where they are. They are working hard. You have young people working hard. You have um, people are hospitable there. You know, they all want to hear. You know, the example of uh, my friend Ombeni. Ombeni lost his parents when he was only like 14, you know, due to the war. And he was left with uh, four siblings. And this guy, he's taking care of his four siblings, but he's gone beyond and taking seven other kids in his house you know he doesn't have as much as you have or i have but he said okay every little that i have i'm going to share it with someone 
and that is Congo for us. People sharing with one another, people, you know, um, uh, comforting each other, people, you know, uh, making each other laugh. And I've seen what Romben is doing, and, and I've, I've decided to help him with the, this responsibility that I have. Uh, sending the kids to school, these often kids, you know, put, uh, doing what I can to help them with food and maybe also giving them a little business so that they can uh, be able to uh, to generate something for, for themselves. So this is Congo. People do not think that the only uh, great man we have in Congo is uh, Dr. Mukwege. And yet, he's a great man. But if you see where he comes from, he comes from Congo. That is actually the representation of Congolese people. You know, Congolese people are people that want to help uh, one another. Congolese people are people that go beyond the ability. We have a lot of people that are, are great people. So I want to encourage you guys, especially those in the diaspora, come back home, come and see. You know, even if it's just to visit and, uh, and see where your roots are, come. <laughs> you will see amazing thing and you will want to come back again you know and if you're just a tourist you are from somewhere you're looking for a beautiful place to visit i promise you congo is the best place to visit man you know i was born there myself and i never got the opportunity as a kid before i left the country i never got the opportunity to see the beauty that we have but now i'm seeing this beauty and i'm fascinated I've traveled all over the world to different countries and I've never seen a country as beautiful as my country, guys. So, guys, the country is diverse. In every province in, in, in the Congo, there is beauty. There is um, amazing people. There is something that you can see. And the country is huge, man. I mean, how many tribes do we have? We have more than 250 tribes at once. Then we spoke to 400, 700 different languages that spoken there in Congo. So, mm, you won't be bothered. Thank you for watching. And um, uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button so that you can be notified. And yeah, share this video. You know, let someone know that there are people that are talking about Congo. You know, together we can make a change. The Soma Sambu, we are together to Kopamoja and let's change the narrative of our country, guys. Let's be the ones, wherever we are, let's be the ones who talk positive about our country. We invite people to come to our country. Congo, Kitoko. I love you guys and see you next week. And this time we'll be going to Nyirogongo. It's going to be great, man. I experience being there and we're going to see you next week. God bless you and talk to you. It's so dangerous. I repeat it again. And so everyone is seeing this. I hope you may come sometime to see it. And appreciate it. But whenever you are here, please be careful. It's so dangerous.